वेलकम और वेलकम बैक टू माय बुक ट्यूब चैनल माय नेम इज चेतना एंड इन टूडेज वीडियो आई एम गोना रिकमेंड यू सम बुक्स विच आर अंडर 200 पेजेस व्हिच विल डेफिनेटली मोटिवेट यू टू रीड मोर एंड मोस्ट ऑफ देम यू कैन जस्ट फिनिश इट विद इन वन और टू सिटिंग्स एंड आल्सो इट विल हेल्प यू टू पेस अप योर गुड रीड्स गोल्स इफ यू हैव सेट देम फॉर द ईयर also i have sorted this books in ascending order based on the number of pages i know it sounds nerdy but yeah i have done that uh, so let's get straight into the video the first book that i want to recommend is the living mountain by amitav ghosh uh, and i listened to the audiobook version of this book and it was so so good uh, it is told you know it is narrated in the form of fairy tale uh, so i would highly recommend you if you get a chance listen to the audiobook version of it uh, it took hardly 35 minutes uh, to complete the entire book but it was certainly very very impactful so this story starts with a community of people who lives nearby the mahaparbat which is the great mountain and they are certainly very proud about their culture and about the learnings the teachings that they have gone got from their ancestors and uh, the only rule is that which has been passed on from their ancestors is that you cannot set a foot on the mahaparbat uh, but eventually what happens is that there is a invader uh, called as the anthropoi and he gets to know about this mahaparbat so what happens next is very heartbreaking so you should definitely read and find out uh, what happened uh, but yeah although i thought the ending was bit abrupt um not that i'm complaining i just wanted more uh, from the book uh and yes uh, i think the main motive of this book was to deliver a strong message about climate change and that you should you know never mess with the nature and it does the job uh, so definitely read this book next book is the birthday girl by haruki murakami uh, so i have you know read this book two two and a half years ago i think but still till date i haven't made a piece with it uh because this book has open interpretation and it just leaves you confused as hell <laughs> and uh, that is what you know i like about murakami's books uh, that he just knows how to play with your mind um nevertheless uh, this book was very interesting to me i cannot tell you much about this book because already it is very short but uh, this book follows a girl uh, who works in a restaurant uh, and on her 20th birthday she meets uh, this owner of this restaurant and uh, he offers her to grant three wishes whatever she asks for uh, so yes that is only thing that i could tell you uh, as of now about this book so definitely give it a try if you want to look as confused as i am so the next book is we should all be feminist so if you want to understand what really feminism is uh, definitely read this book i really loved how the author has you know talked about her personal experiences and i thought the narration was very clever and very humorous witty at times uh, and yeah uh, the sad part is that many of the things that she has mentioned in this book are quite relatable uh, till date and yeah i think everyone must be aware of this so definitely read this book the next book is 84 charing cross road by helene han uh, so if you are a book lover you love to collect books read books go to the bookstores and want that vintage kind of feels definitely read this book and the best part about this book is that it wasn't you know romantic in any way it just portrays a very unusual kind of friendship which i really really adored uh, so basically this is a collection of letters which this author has sent to one book uh, store owner uh, which is in london and uh, it eventually starts with you know exchange of books and their common passion for books uh, the way they talk but uh, then she gets very well acquainted by the whole staff of that bookstore and uh, also the their families as well uh, which is very very you know heart warming uh, to read and uh, there is particularly one incidents which i really uh, you know loved uh, is that the author if i'm not wrong uh, she never visited that bookstore uh, they just connected via these letters uh, so some of her friends uh, they visited you know for their vacation they visited this uh, bookstore and they told that they are her friends and the way the bookstore people uh, you know the staff uh, 
they were so so warm and welcoming to them they were so so happy uh, to meet her friends uh, that i really found very very adorable uh, so yeah all in all it is a very good heart warming kind of parade so definitely see this book is eat that frog and i am surprised myself uh, because i'm recommending a self help book because i do not much lean towards it uh, but eat that frog uh, actually was recommended by a booktuber uh, which is archel from uh, libro review and uh, since then i wanted to read this book uh, so i decided to give it a try and i really really loved it uh so this book uh, merely talks about procrastination and how you can overcome it and there are 21 steps which you can take in order to do that and these steps are very you know easy and actionable kind of uh which you can implement uh in your daily life uh and yeah there there were a lot of takeaways from this book uh, and the best part about this book is that how precise and to the point this book was and the things are explained with examples uh and yeah this really helped me to you know pay attention to all the points that are said in this book uh because this is the problem that i find while reading self help books that i <laughs> kind of uh, lose my attention because not all the things that are said in the book are relatable to you uh so yeah uh this book was definitely very helpful to me so yeah next book is a graphic novel called as persepolis by marjan satrapi and yeah um i was very surprised uh, while reading this book uh, and yeah uh, with the graphic novels i haven't you know read anything very you know that dark and very uh, based on real life experiences through a graphic novel so that was kind of a new thing for me and uh, yeah this book talks about author's life uh, from the age of 6 to 14 in the first part uh, where she lived in tehran and the political you know situation and how it impacted her uh, life and her family and uh, in the later part in the second part uh, she moves to austria for her education and uh, that is again very heartbreaking to read uh, the way she has you know faced certain discrimination and uh, i really appreciated that again a very sensitive topic such as depression was handled in this book so this book has a lot to offer uh, as in when you proceed in this book it's last but not the least the illustrations are very very amazing they are black and white in color and it makes the story very very impactful So yeah definitely read this book. The last book that I want to recommend is Interpreters of Maladies by Jhumpa Lehri and I'm so happy that this book falls in this category of 200 pages. Uh but yeah uh this is basically a collection of nine different short stories. Uh and all revolve around different topics uh such as you know talks about immigrants about Indian American culture differences. uh about home longing uh and marriages relationships and a lot more uh particularly jumpaleri's writing style is very you know very atmospheric kind of it's like you can hear the inner voices of each and every character and the writing just flows uh i i'm not sure if i was able to describe it very precisely but all the short stories in this book are very very good uh the one that i liked the most uh is the first one which is a temporary matter uh it is about this couple uh indian couple who is living in america and uh, they unfortunately has uh, a stillborn baby and how that tragedy you know impacts them as an individual and their relationship as a whole uh that is the story so definitely read this book it's very different very you know very good <laughs> i don't know how to describe that but yeah uh definitely read this book so yeah guys those were all the recommendation for today's video i hope you find it helpful uh so if you have any recommendation of the books which are under 200 pages or under 300 pages i just don't care if you have any recommendation put them in the comment section below i would love to read them and yeah um if you have watched this video till here make sure you like the video subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and yes i'll see you next time bye bye